Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Vico Constructor 2008 8th tutorial. I am engineer Muhammad Qasim Shinwari to teach you in this tutorial. In this tutorial we will continue our furnishing work. So let's start. First of all, let me work a little bit easy. I am going to delete the first story and this story. Now we are having just one story. Under the design tab in the toolbox, select object, double click over it. To have the object settings now we have to define some objects in the construction library 2008 then construction modeling okay these are the concrete columns chairs railing symbols but we are not interested in it for the time being what I am interesting in is furnishing these are the appliances and here I will select microwave oven microwave oven so double click microwave oven here you can preview its different views relative base height for the time being remain it as zero we might later on change it and leave the default options save and here oven microwave oven microwave oven okay Let me define other objects like refrigerator. Let me see if refrigerator, yeah. This is the refrigerator and zero and leave the other options how much they are. Preview. Save it by the name refrigerator. Coming downward, I then I will select the sink journal. General. Save it. Sink. Okay. Coming to the third object, which is bed. It's not here. Bathroom accessories. From bathroom accessories, see if we need anything special ok come to beds 11 in beds 11 I will need bed 2 1 1 and here I can select the different styles for the time being I leave the default options and save it as bed coming to others objects like lockers Lockers uh, here night table night table one select night table one Let me find out lockers where the lockers are under the cabinets and shelves 11 We have lockers 11 so save it I am using the default dimensions locker ok then click on over also select the cupboard 11 and save it by the name cupboard C U B cupboard okay next what we will need is office cabinet 
ऑफिस कैबिनेट जीरो वन I am going through. If I get something for kitchen, I will need dining table and chairs. Chairs, a simple chair. I will need. Let me find it. This chair. Save it as chair. I might need it, so I am saving it. Okay, I am having a dining table, a round dining table at the, for the time being I am selecting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I am having 6 chairs by default, so no need to have some changes, just save it as dining table, a round dining table. Under the health and recreation, select TV. Save it in your favorites. Under the kitchen cabinets 11, I am going through some of the options. If I find something special, then we will place it. Let me place it also. Cabinet Belfast Sink. You can design different types of options. For the timing, I am not going through it. Now, what next I need? is a telephone set which is available in office equipment folder save it as by the name telephone we will place it in office now press click on ok so we have defined different objects now we will place them make sure that you can see all these objects in favorites list and object tool is selected in toolbox if i select the arrow tool in the favorite list all the tools are shown but if you select a special tool like, like object so only related tools are shown now double click our bed and i want to place a bed here i have to select the anchor point remember that in this case i have orthogonal geometry method zoom in and pen where necessary click anywhere to make your work easy so it's the bed shift select it sorry and drag it right click move drag Uh, it will be better if you place it here now select the night table and place it here shift select and drag it escape right click move drag Press escape to deselect. What else we can place? Let me go through here. We can also place a chair here. But I am not placing chair. Let me place here a cupboard. Where is cupboard? This is. Double click over it and select. Shift select shift select 
in the context menu move drag where I can place the cupboard mm, it depends on your choice Now copy all these string things to this bedroom also especially I will need uh, shift select this and night table in the context menu move drag a copy click here and bring it downward in this bedroom. It will be better if we use the rotated select the bed and then escape select the bed and then use the rotated. We will use a rotate. Oh, sorry. Press Ctrl Z, escape. Double click our bed, select rotated construction method and then shift select this bedroom, drag it here I have to place bed here shift select it and drag it downward similarly place night table here still selected the rotated construction method hold down shift now it will be vertical and click shift select bring it here Okay, now coming to the cupboard, select this cupboard by shift select. Remember that you should select when it becomes highlighted. Right click, move, drag a copy. And one cupboard should be placed here also. Let me see it in 3D if it is placed correctly. Okay, you can see it is placed correctly. But here we will find problem because window will not open so let us have some changes press F2 escape I am going to change the place of the cupboard by bringing it selected shift selected delete select the object tool select rotated and then cupboard I will rotate the cupboard Now the cupboard is placed in right place. Okay, now using the mark you tool, press F5. Now it's okay. You can see it's now okay. Press Escape, press Control S. See the results.
Okay, now I want to see this in 3D. This cover. Press F5. Fit to window. Shift rotate it. It's also placed correctly. Press F2. Press Escape. Control S. So in this way you can very easily place different objects. For the time being I am placing very little some objects only. Okay, using the object select the refrigerator. Double click on refrigerator. We have to place a refrigerator shift Select, shift select it and drag it to the correct position. Now we need sink etc. So here we were having a cabinet Belfast sink. So it is a cabinet shift selected to place it in the correct position. Uh, delete it. Sorry, delete it. Make sure that the construction method is selected to rotate it and then select the method. Let me see it. I am unable to visualize it. Okay. So it's this way. It's okay. Uh, F2. Shift select and drag it here. Now using the mark you tool I want to see. You can see that it's now ok. Press F2, press escape. I have to place a microwave oven also. Microwave oven. Just here. Shift, shift selected, sorry, shift select and then place it here. Let me see them combine using the mark skew tool selection and press F5. So you can see that on is placed downward. So there must be some shelf. So let's Shift select this oven and delete it. Press F2, Control S to select to save the project. In the object default settings, come to the kitchen cabinets 11 and here select cabinet wall 3D 11. Sorry, this one. Here the cabinet uh, depth cabinet weight and number of shelves can be controlled. Let me change the shelves to 5 and see how much shelves we get. So means it depends on you how much shelves you want but in this case I need 2 of them. Ok now what I am going to do is to see that the what is the cabinet uh, not cabinet height but dimension one this is the dimension one so what's the dimension 11.81 inches so change it to 2.5 feet and this four is okay save it by the name cabinet wall Click OK. Now we have to place the cabinet wall. So for the time being I am dragging this out. Double click on cabinet wall and in rotated I have to place it here. Shift select it and drag it here. Similarly shift select this. Drag it. here. Now 
let me place oven where is microwave oven double click over microwave oven okay so this is the microwave oven shift select shift select it and place it over here now let me see if there is any problem I will correct it in 3d press f5 fit to windows you can see that where is the oven it's gone down so coming back to main and it's here deleted now remove the oven shift select oven delete this oven and come to again in 3d come to 3d okay now I have to place the oven object tool and here microwave oven rotate it so I will place oven here it's again placed shift selected shift select right click move drag and then drag it and bring it here it's gone down again so we should make a little make a little bit uh, modification to the oven so press ctrl z while selected delete this and let me find what was its height its height was using the measuring tool it height is 2 2 feet 5.53 inches in tracker it is shown 2 feet 5.53 inches now double click over here uh, cancel it for for the time being bring it here find out microwave on delete it I haven't placed microwave on till now so double click our object select the microwave oven in appliances 11 folder and here I have to give the height as what was height 2 feet 5.53 inches save microwave oven ok ok now coming back to the plane view and select microwave oven I will place microwave oven again now shift select it drag it now it's ok control s let me see in 3d what's the situation Now you can see it is placed exactly over it. Before we gave the height as zero, that's why it was on the ground. So press F2, press Escape. Now let us continue our work. One thing which I want to say it here again that don't object such furnishing because such furnishing can be seen in homes only and I am doing this furnishing in fire brigade station so you should not have any objection what my objective is now to tell you about the different methods how to use this furnishing and how to do decoration for example in this case I am going to place a TV here
<clears throat> make sure that object covered diagonal so now let's see the results in 3d if it's okay yeah it's okay now I was doing mistake last time now what I will do is to hold it down and bring it here No. shift select it right click move drag multiple copies drag multiple copy we have to enter the drag reference point this is the drag reference point and now the other shift hold down shift this and this press escape now you can see we have three cupboards in main equipment maintenance in lockers we will provide lockers locker double click over locker while the object tool still selected object locker ok make sure that
zoom and pan to office and select the table object place table here mm, shift uh, select delete it make sure that rotated geometry method is selected now rotate it and click now it's ok let me drag it using its hot spots now I will place uh, two chairs object tool while selected find chair it is double click to select the chair from the ferret list and uh, go to special snap values set special make sure the divisions are three and then three bring cursor here uh, to the line and you will have guidelines click over here rotate it oops I have placed it wrong let me try again now it's ok let me place another chair by copying it press ctrl C and then escape and ctrl V I, it's not usually the proper way so try not to follow this way you should uh, let me try again then I will tell you uh, you should shift select the chair and object right click move drag or drag a copy here drag a copy for copying ok two chairs are placed now I have to move it a little bit press escape then select the second chair and place it here now it's ok now it's fine save the project now I have to place the telephone and favorite list I am unable to find it let me define again under the office equipments etc what is the folder there is telephone favorite make sure that the height is 1 feet 4 inches because we were having the table height as 1 feet 4 inch so we will place this telephone set above the table so height will be 1 name it as telephone ok ok and ok while object tool still selected make sure that telephone is favorite is selected in the favorite list let me place telephone I am going to half snap value oops I have placed it wrong let me try again now it's fine let me drag it yeah now it's ok let me see in 3d press f5 after selection and mark you F2 now I am going to have some changes in kitchen let me drag the kitchen text towards right so that I can find some place where I can place the table so make sure that object tool is selected in toolbox and dining round table in favorite list where is dining round round dining table okay round dining table and place it where you, you find it fine now you can see how easily we have done all these things let me select all these and mark you and then F5 to show them in 3D let me 
orbit it using the mouse button 3 and wheel to, for zooming so you can see how fine we have done our work and this is the you can say the nice point of Vico constructor escape I have to do a little bit more modifications make sure that object tool is selected and I am going to find uh, trucks so under the construction 2008 library and construction constructor modeling I am going to click on the folder this folder and here I can find the trucks so instead of fire brigade trucks I will use these trucks as notations so let me find some truck Uh, I think the truck this truck will be I think okay so click over it you can see different views I will use this as notation instead of fire brigade truck so save it by the favorite name truck okay okay now object tool still selected okay now I have to uh, place these trucks in specific pattern so I am drawing a wall later on I will delete it zoom in and let me drag this text to one side so that I can find space okay now set special snap values and divisions to mm, 5 object tool still selected geometry method and after that select truck favorite Play, uh, move your cursor towards the wall and it will automatically be divided in different parts so using uh, double clicks one click and then other click so a truck is placed but uh, its orientation is wrong let me redo it either find the hot spot and select and delete or press ctrl z let me try again now it's okay now uh, but a little bit problem that I will be it will be difficult to find its hot spot hot spot is a point by help of which we can drag it so there is no way except undoing it press ctrl Z to undo our last activity or task let me draw it here now I can find its hot spot so this is the hot spot I will move drag and now zoom and pan where necessary place it here so it means that I don't need any wall you can place it without uh, this uh, classification so let me delete it using the delete button after selecting it by shift click ok select it move drag a copy and then place a copy here click it ok we got a copy now right click in the context menu again go to move drag a copy and place it here 
it means that the middle truck will go first simple as that and we are having much distance we can enlarge the door if necessary save the project let me see in 3d but i think the trucks are we will be not be able to see in 3d uh, fit in windows okay press f2 again and escape we cannot see it in 3d now let me see if some modification is required okay this bedroom is left outward so select it and uh, no no uh, shift click over it to select it and then go upward and let me decrease the point so it, its size is now decreased let me drag it now it's ok coming to this D room drag it downward and the truck base let me decrease its front and drag it here equipment maintenance zoom till you find it easy to work with ok in this bedroom I have to place beds table etc so what I am going to do is simply select all these from the first bedroom right click in the context menu go to move drag a copy or simply press ctrl D zoom and pan where necessary and click here so you can see we have placed it here let me drag this bedroom text downward ok let me drag it downward also uh, a little bit more yeah now we have to place covers in the dressing room I am going to find the available distance so that the proper favorite can be defined so select my tool and in the tracker I can find the distance so in tracker when you will see this distance then uh, it means that we have to define such a cupboard not to exceed these dimensions I have by default I have I, I am also having a cupboard which I have defined from the very first start let me try that covered using the rotate geometry method and place it here ok it's nice it fits so don't uh, I don't need any covered uh, definition let me see if it is placed correctly but I think it might get some problem because its highlighted portion was yeah because its highlighted portion was on its opposite side so shift select it and delete it let me try again remember that the practice makes a man perfect so you can see how much practice you will need let me see in 3D press F5 after selection it's wrong again object tool cover and this so the light portion should be upward now it's ok let me check it let me select mark you and after mark you selection press f5 now it's ok because the thin line was on the top side now I am going to do is to copy this cupboard 
to my towards the other dressing room move drag a copy so you can place cover towards the right most corner what you uh, think is okay what you think they are fine but I am placing for the time being here you can place another cupboard here you can place another cupboard here press escape ok let me have a look what else is remaining so that our drawing is finalized ok I have to place some chairs tables in classroom zoom and fan were necessary move drag a copy multiple copy sorry so I am going to place copies using uh, holding down the shift key you will easily place the horizontal co copies well, now coming downward and keep holding down your shift key now unhold and place uh, another method will be easy I think uh, let me select these two chairs using arrow and com complete selection method select it and delete it now select all these oops partial now select partial method all these and in the context menu move drag a copy and place it here you will see a single plus sign in single selection press offs let me drag this classroom text upward select this move drag a copy and click here press escape now I have to place a table object tool while selected select table and click over here let me drag it to place it in the mid ok now our classroom is ready let me decrease the points of classroom shift click over it to select it and then place here ok now the classroom is ready let me see in 3d by selecting in mark you and then press f5 fit in window and this so you can see how easily we have defined the chairs and we have placed press f2 to come again let me have a final look if anything is remaining here so that I can change mm, I think it's approximately complete except that we haven't provided a water tank over here so we will provide water tank in our next tutorial and lockers are ok so it's okay we will provide so this was the end of our 8th tutorial of Vico Constructor 2008 in next tutorial we will continue our work so see you in next tutorial Allah Hafiz